There he goes. Good morning, guys. Uh, I guess you can still say good morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, but um, usually I prefer to go fishing like dust and done. So basically early, early in the morning or late in the afternoons. Um, this morning I wake up around six o'clock. I say, okay, I'm going fishing. But then I got stuck watching news and doing things around the house. So next thing you know, uh, nine o'clock came around and I was not thinking to go and decided just to go out there and see what happens. So um, today I have my striker skiff with a six horsepower, um, three fishing poles ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go to some place maybe in Gandhi area, try my luck and see what happens. So um, I also have the drone for the first time. I'm gonna try to see if I can follow this skiff with my drone. Uh, <laughs> should be interesting. So stay tuned, here we go. Finally, we have a good weekend after so long. If it was not too cold, it was just rainy. Uh, but today it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. There's a lot of people on the beach, so it took me a while to find a spot to uh, lounge. But uh, there, I found that spot right there. Um, Today, uh, again, I'm gonna be going maybe around the mangroves. Uh, it's low tide right now, it should go up later on. Um, I have my motor going right now, warming up. I got three poles uh, ready to go. That's, uh, the blue bag right here is my water, my ice. Obviously, you have the fuel to refuel the bait. I got some uh, three dozens of, uh, they only have regular shrimp today. Um, I also have my life vest. Uh, the paddles so yeah ready to go so wish me luck Hey guys, today again another slow midday. Um, not much current. Um, another day of struggle, but you always stay positive <laughs> uh, because sooner or later, man, uh, you know the fish is gonna bite. So you have to be mentally prepared to fight. You know, to fight the fish the right way. Don't get too fast with it set up the drag the correct way so um, let's see what happens but so far uh, got a live shrimp they're very very small today they told me they were regular but to be honest with you um, they're tiny um, again that's what I have so that's what I'm gonna fish with other than that um, I'm gonna get closer to shore, see what happens. Stay tuned. Two hours later. Okay guys, I have a big red, maybe 28 inches, just going around my skiff, but he's not biting. He's huge. I'm gonna see if I can see him and show it to you guys. So they're here, they're just not hungry. Right there, right there. 
Oh, they're coming to me. But they're not biting. Right there. Oh my lord, that's a school for red. None of them are biting. There he goes. So school right here. School. Yes. Well, after checking this video a couple times, I uh, still have no words. It makes no sense. Usually redfish have a very strong, very tough mouth. I knew I set up the hook right because you can hear on the drag. So usually when you lose a fish this big is because the line breaks, the hook breaks, or just the, the not just give up. But I check all three of them, all three of them were fine. So again, this makes no sense. It's the first time in a long time that this happens with a red fish. Wow. Right here. There. They're big, they're they're nice size. Yeah, I saw him running your way. Yeah, he was coming around a couple of times and I thought I had it and hook is there, bait is there. They were right here right now. My heart just I mean they're I've been waiting all day and they finally like arrived and Maybe 10, 12 of them. I'm like a tornado of anger swirling about. Yeah, I mean, I saw him, he, he, I got him, and I went to turn the camera. By the time I did that, he was freaking gone. Stupid me. I see some shadows over there. They don't look like mullets, but they're like, you can see it over there, maybe 40 yards or so.
this is so much better this is dinner finally um, looks like dinner have to be 12 inches so uh, so yeah uh, oh crappy I'm gonna keep trying this area over here definitely there's some fish here they're by the rocks um, not what I was targeting but uh, definitely a good fish big but better than nothing so they're here needs to be 12 um, it's not close there you go the beauty let's try this again It's been a slow day, um, but definitely a blessed day. I'm here, so that's all I can ask for. Um, like I said before, I was not supposed to come, and uh, decide to come like always is. Uh, I don't know. I had to put my my time into it. Uh, I want to make some videos, but you cannot make videos if you are not on the water. So today is a uh, very calm tide, very slow, not much current, um, shrimps were s super small, um, got one bite, big one, there you go, another bite, biting, so they're here, small fish, but they're here, I think he took my bait, most likely. Two bites. That's uh, there you go. This is a small, small one, uh, but at least we know they're here. So smaller than the other one. These are ship heads. You have to wash them. They have uh, spine, uh, but the worst part is the teeth. They have a uh, very strong teeth. If I can show you that. There you go. That's how you release a fish. Not really. He's okay. He's happy to be back in the water with his buddies. He told somebody that he just had a nightmare. And so a UFO, I bet you. He's going back home telling mom he had an encounter with a strange guy. Nobody's gonna believe him. But um, that's life. So they're here, they're by the rocks. Yeah guys, uh, hopefully you enjoy the uh, drone footage because uh, that was scary. Uh, the last time I took it out uh, the battery uh, was going down, but I was there. You go. I was going with the fun. I was having so much fun that I forgot that uh, that I had to return it back home to here. So it's, can you imagine you're going, you're flying, the drone is coming down, so you have to time it perfectly. While the drone goes down, you have to time it at the same time. So 
it was scary. Uh, my heart was going 100 miles an hour um, because, to be honest with you, I thought uh, the drone was going to end up in the water on the bottom of the bay. But uh, luckily, um, I managed to catch it. And again, anybody, anybody says, oh, just catch it. Yeah, you can catch it, but when you have blades spinning, I don't know, 6,000, I don't know how fast they're going, but they're going fast, believe me. You don't want to stick your finger on that. Um, let's see what happens here. They're like right here, they're biting me. So. There you go. Small one. Okay. Oh, this is something different. Oh my God. I got a record, guys. Record for the books. Holy crap. He was hungry. It's uh, I think they call them laser fish or something like that. watching guys if you like my channel and my content please subscribe and please hit the like button thank you more videos to come